The United Nations started distributing food aid to the population in the famine-affected parts of South Sudan, where an estimated 100,000 people are already starving. According to the latest report from the Integrated Food Security Face Classification IPC, famine is currently affecting parts of Unity State in the northern central part of the country. The famine is being attributed to armed conflict, displacement, a missed cropping season and livestock raiding. Humanitarian organizations are urgently appealing for funding to respond to the escalating crisis. With U.S. dollar 1.6 billion required to provide life-saving assistance and protection to some 5.8 million people across South Sudan in 2017. Yes, we do have the food uh, uh, supplies here, but it's not just about food. It's importantly also about nutrition, and we really need relative peace and security so we can have a greater footprint of humanitarian workers here to provide. You know, nutrition services to provide health services, to provide water, sanitation, and health. But I'm delighted to see that the, the significant number of bags of food that we have brought is really making a difference in, in saving lives. Another problem for the humanitarian organizations is the lack of security for its staff to distribute the aid. Both uh, the government officials as well as the opposition leaders in this location. Uh, they are committed now to ensuring that you know our peace is sustained, and you know, based on that discussion, we have agreed that you know what has prevented us from responding in this location in the past is because of the fighting and insecurity. We need to have yeah, safety and security in this location before we can come back to do the distribution as we're going to do now. But more importantly be able to establish much longer uh, term activities. According to the UN Office for Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, UN OCHA, insecurity and lack of access have left some 100,000 people facing starvation in parts of South Sudan where famine was declared on 20th February. And a further 1 million are on the brink of famine. By the height of the lean season in July, it is expected that some 5.5 million people will be severely food insecure across the country. Speaking in Padia, Christopher Trott, the United Kingdom's special representative for Sudan and South Sudan, said he was very conscious of the impact of the conflict on the ordinary South Sudanese people. And while providing assistance was needed, there was a need for peace to be secured in South Sudan. We need to recognize that, that a new phase has been entered by the declaration of famine. But actually a food crisis has existed in South Sudan for a number of years. And we as the United Kingdom, we as an international donor, have been supporting the UN system through those years, trying to provide assistance, trying to provide resources, so that uh, this kind of assistance can reach ordinary South Sudanese. And we will continue to do that. Ocha said that since December 2013, about 3.4 million people have been displaced, including nearly 1.9 million people who have been internally displaced and about 1.5 million who have fled to neighboring countries.